There we go, you can start. So what are we going to do today, Matthew? I don't know, you tell me. Well, it's a very, very old recipe. It's a crown jewel of Polish traditional foods. It's called bigos. The closest I can get into English, it will be hunter's pot. It originates in a eight, nine, hundred thousand, not thousand, hundred years ago. <laughs> During the, the big hunts, when the knights were going into the forest for two, three weeks to hunt in the autumn before the winter, and they always took a cauldron of sauerkraut with them, carried by servants, of course. The first thing they did when they set camp, they put the cauldron with the sauerkraut in it over the slow coals, so it started simmering. And as the hunt progressed, from the best parts of the meats they got from the boar, a bear, a bison, moose, deer and so forth was going into the pot and was stirred. So they were doing it for the duration of the hunt. Also the servants were gathering berries and mushrooms and, and herbs in the forest, whatever they would find, and then it was also going into the pot to add to the flavor. At the end of the hunt, the master of the, of the hunt and two most trusted servants took the cauldron into the forest and buried it. And they dug out, which they buried the year before, reheated it and had an absolute feast. I'll try to replicate it as close as possible with whatever ingredients I have here in South Africa, but we'll see how it will go. Okay, the main ingredient is sauerkraut. In Poland you can get it in every corner shop from a barrel. Then we have, for the meat, I've got kudu topside. And it looks to me like it's a, it's a, a ham from the Warthog. Very nice. And Warthog sausages, courtesy of your brother and his hunting. Two bay leaves. Those are dried mushrooms. Porcini, Prawdziwki, Seps, Bolitos, Steinpilze. Okay, in different languages, but they are the, the dried porcinis from the slopes of the table mountain. Some of them will go in, not all of them. Yeah. I don't know what you wanted to do. There you go. Mm. Majoram and juniper berries. That's about it. Now, what I'm going to do, open the jars and drain some of the juice out of it because it's quite acidic, okay? It's a nifty little tool. Forgot about one ingredient. What is that? Onions. The last ingredient will be for that amount. I think I've got about three kilograms of sauerkraut here. So for that amount I will use three onions. Nice size. You always use the big pot for it because it's, it's supposed to be a cauldron. Well, I've got the pasta pot which is approximately seven or eight liters. And that will do. You only use stainless steel, cast iron or never aluminium because acidity reacts with, with uh, aluminium and it can hold the pot. Also, it's not very healthy for you, I think because there is some link to Alzheimer's with, with aluminium. First things first, I'm going to put the meat to roast. Initially, let me see. I cannot see without my glasses. We'll put it on 150 degrees, 175 actually. That would do. Let's see how it will get along. Once it's roasted, I'll cube it, small pieces, and add to the sauerkraut which should be cooking for, for a while before any additional stuff goes into the pot. It needs to get soft. Ah! I'll be adding a little bit of water to cook the sauerkraut. And it needs to be frequently stirred before it will burn. Put the bay leaves in and I'm adding some extra water. Initially I, I put the cover on but once, once it starts boiling 
what I want is the water to evaporate. We don't need water because there will be other stuff coming in as well. I'm going to rehydrate the mushrooms. Actually boil them before I add them to the pot. But I will add them to the pot with, with the liquid in. Because all the flavor will be in the liquid as well. Save myself time. I'll just make them small now. Instead of cutting them later. I'm frying the, the onions, chopped, finely chopped before I add it to the sauerkraut and the mushrooms are looking okay I'll leave them on a slow mow so they get soft before they will be added in and the onion is done it's soft it's golden and we add it mushrooms together with the sauce from the mushrooms stir it <laughs> you've got to stir it frequently what are you filming there? you! ah I'm slicing the sausage I'm taking the casing off I don't know what, if it's natural casing or plastic or whatever but probably not edible No, not yet. <laughs> Tell me about your secret ingredient. It's not so, it's, I forgot to, to put it at the beginning. Yeah, it's an ingredient, it's not so secret ingredient. Uh, dried prunes to add a little bit of sweetness. And they can also be found in a forest, I think. Okay, dried prunes, secret ingredient. Thinly sliced prunes, going in. There were 20 of them. You're doing a good job. Thanks. I must take my glasses off before I check. It's not a bread. I think it's, it's getting red. I'll give it another 15 minutes. And then I'll take it out, let it cool, before I'll cube it, small pieces, add all the juices in, because it's all the essence from the meats. And because it's a combination of different tastes. Very, very special dish. Well, it looks done to me. It's probably still bloody, but it's, it will cook in a, in a, in a, in a big oz. I'm going to chop it into small cubes. Okay? One by one. By one. That's a cube. Eh? Centimeters, not inches, guys. Now that I'm putting meat in, I put the sausage in. The one which was sliced before. And that needs to stirring in. To mix it nicely. What? Yeah, I'm stirring. Uh -huh -huh. Okay, you stir it. Yeah, I'll do it. You go cut the meat. Okay. Is that the last of it then? Yeah. Great. And then kudu. We'll, last of the kudu. Then we'll do the warthog. Into the pot. Looks nice and dry. Stir that in. Yeah. Stir it in, please. Okay. Last of the warthog going in. All the juices from the roasting of the kudu and, and the, and the warthog go in. There we go. Now we cook. For how long? Mm, two weeks. Okay, you want to say that in one whole sentence as if you're narrating a cooking show here? Yeah, we will. Go for it. We were going to stir it and cook it for two weeks now. And in between, I might freeze it and defrost and reheat, or whatever. And once it's finished, we're going to bury it, and we will dug out the one I've got in the garden for a year now. How about that? See you in two weeks. And there is something on the counter in the lounge to serve it with. There we go. Voila! Yep. When did we film the last video? How many weeks ago? Oh, I don't remember. 
Okay, well, this is the Bigos. Finally, after three plus weeks, four plus weeks? Yep. There we go, Bigos. So, th this is the one we buried uh, last year. Last year. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> there we go. So, this could be our last supper. <laughs> And who was it buried next to? Yeah. He was buried with it. And if the servants were not trusted, yeah, they killed them after they buried the pot. Yeah. It's not allowed nowadays. You know. The judges really eat around the pot. And then Killing the judges, it. no, no, they don't tolerate that. They say, no, you're not allowed to do that.